question of how we can translate general principles in the internet context. This is a very important point because we were discussing about procedural methods, but when we look at the content of Bill of Rights, we need a new and fresh approach. It is not enough to reproduce in a charter of fundamental rights some of a, in an Internet Bill of Rights, some important fundamental rights we know since, oh, I can say, the, the Declaration de Droits de l'Homme de Citoyen. Uh, we need, a, a, first of all, we must be aware that Internet is also an infrastructure with some peculiarities. Second, during the past years, mainly in some areas, I am deeply, I was deeply involved in data protection. New principles emerged. New principles were used in order to give to traditional rights safeguards in a new dimension. For instance, the principle of proportionality in using data the principle of minimalization of the data uh, collection, and so on. It means that Internet in this year has also produced some new principles that could, must be incorporated in the new charter. And I think that there was an important uh, remark by Senator Brown saying, when are you looking to some kind of freedom or liberties on the net. Don't forget the same problems in the other areas. I think that there is a very important and positive dialectic between what is happening on the net, new principles, and what can happen out offline. Offline, there are reflect, reflects of what is now happening online, because traditional uh, uh, fundamental rights are now interpreted also offline with the same principles and, uh, and concerns that are uh, raised online. Only one thing, uh, we haven't to forget uh, what's happening offline for the communication, for the freedom of speech. I will remember here Brad Will, the reporter of Indy Media, like in Osaka, in Mexico. This is a demonstration that we haven't forget.